There's really not a lot to say about this particular video. It is mostly showing uh, my process of working with groups in design and in animation. I might do it different than other people. Personally, I've, I fell in love with the magnet tool from the first time that I touched it, uh, so I use it constantly. It, I compare it to sculpting. It feels really loose, it's quick, it gets the job done, especially if everything is just right there and you can change it all in one go. For those of you asking about um, shading, it's as easy as making a new style and lowering the uh, opacity or transparency alpha, lower the alpha, I guess, of that particular style. And for whatever reason, it's called in in the style editor. Just turn that down. There you go. You can see the colors that are on underneath it. It's as easy as that. I'm not saying that the best technique is to keep everything on one level. I do enjoy it for certain elements of a character like the face and the head, or a torso uh, with a bunch of decoration, buttons, pockets, knickknacks and patty wax. It also works exceptionally well for instances where you might need to mask something, but you don't want to set up masking something, or matting, I guess is what it's called in Overtune. There's going to be a time where having everything on one level is going to be problematic. You'll see here in a second with the hair as it starts to rotate and bring it down. The auto in between doesn't know what to do um, with all those points. Uh, so in moments like this, I would recommend um, hiring a in between artist to tediously sit down and fill in all those little hair follicles. Or you could just cut the hair out at that frame paste it into a new level and use the edit tool uh, to handle all the rotation and then it won't affect the audio in between and you can move stuff around freely as you want. I however didn't do that, I just let it be a mess. Which also meant that I couldn't add secondary motion to the hair without a decent amount of work going through frame by frame. Um, if you want that sort of thing, and I think you, you should because it adds an awful lot of life to uh, the final product, it, it's best to put it on its own level. After the fourth time that OpenTunes crashed on me, my screen capture software called it quits and I decided to follow suit and call it quits as well. I will admit that this could have used some further cleanup uh, and it could have benefited from some serious planning. I honestly was just moving some stuff around. But there you go, there's four minutes of your life that you'll never get back. <laughs>